would you get if you combine Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead? Probably some movie that occurred between those two. You certainly wouldn't get Dawn of the Living Dead, though, that's for sure. Phelous, Dawn of the Living Dead was just a working title for Dawn of the Dead. Stop making things up. Sad Panda, you're cameoing in this review, so I'm going to have to deal with random interruptions from you throughout it. No. Oh. Okay. So yeah, Dawn of the Living Dead, we start off with some shots with the color completely screwed up. And some completely inappropriate music. Anyway, some girl and Martin Sheen here drive up to a house. Oh, it is actually Martin Sheen's younger brother, Joe Estevez. Random fact about Joe Estevez, he used to be credited under his mother's maiden name, Phelan. Sound familiar, Phelus? That name no longer holds any meaning to me. You use it in your credits in every video. Anyway, Estevez has actually had a career. Don't know how he ended up in this. So they walk around the house, and they keep walking around the house, and they keep walking around the house. We can still get out of this, you know. It's perfect. All we need is an 80s fix-up montage! <laughs> girl we still know nothing about has mask sense and walks right over to this mask on the ground here. Garbage from the lawn is the best decorations! She also has lock sense too. The master of unlocking. She finds pictures in the room because nothing in this place they bought was cleaned up one bit of course. You make a damn good sirloin Dr. Morgan. Well nothing is too good for my favorite patient and the girl that I love. Oh, there we go, our character development. I'd like to know how this was written. Man and woman go to house and wander around for seven minutes while nothing is explained until they just awkwardly blurt out who they are. Brilliant! Careful, you don't want to use too much energy. Come on, we got a lot of work to do tonight. Yeah, I guess that's what you get with someone 40 years older than you. I wonder what they have to do. Of course, she didn't want him to be too tired for sleep later. No, I didn't cut out them actually doing something in between this. This is actually what happened right after she said that. Get used to this stupid, barely audible line. It's repeated constantly. And it wakes woman up and she goes outside for a jump scare. Or not. Oh, it wasn't scary until she revealed she has eyes. I saw her. Who? The girl in the picture. She's out there and she's hurt. Sweetheart, it's just a dream. Oh, Jeffrey, please. Um, why is she so insistent this was more than a dream? Did we miss something? They probably had to cut it in favor for more walking scenes. Like this! Woman, or Renee, walks around and finds an attic with a dollhouse picture and a doll. Isn't that intriguing? Oh wait, no, not at all. Of course, the moon or sun or whatever is purple today. Nothing strange about that. Does she hear that or not? She doesn't react or mention it later, so it's completely useless, like this whole scene! After that, to change things up, Renee walks randomly outside. We get a point of view shot of something in a completely different area walking, though. <laughs> Oh, it was meant to be something coming up on her. It's a little hard to tell when the color bounce on some cuts makes it look like a completely different planet. I'm sorry, ma'am. My name's Michael. I take care of these windmills. So, how does this work? That's a very good question. And by good, I mean stupid. Wind blows. So, they are windmills. Go kill yourself. Yes, please, do me a favor and end the movie now. Of course, instead of being treated to that, they flirt with each other and she invites him to dinner with her and her fiancé. Well, that won't be awkward. Renee makes the best coffee. <laughs> oh, I guess it won't. I spent the past two and a half years in a psychiatric evaluation facility. My daughter was killed 
by a hit and run driver. And I fell back into my addiction. Jeffrey was my salvation. We've been together for almost a year now. You are my fiance, not my daddy. Your doctor says, ease up on the line. It helps stimulate my psyche. Oh, unless of course Renee purposely makes it awkward by getting drunk and telling her life story for absolutely no reason. What's the deal with this house? Why would he know? He does though, of course. Oh, the realtor didn't tell you? eBay. <gasps> You'd still have to talk to someone and sign some papers. You would just send the money and get the address and go there. Man, you stupid movie. So the purple sun moon multiplies itself. No one really cares. And I don't care about that noise anymore. Wow, they make this scene so intense. Oh, and there's a cornfield over where it's blue out. I spy, by the by, something that begins with the letter C. Does she even see them? Well, she does apparently see this alien terrain with a purple sky and green dirt. You know, with this and the purple sun that no one seems to think is all that weird, I don't even think this takes place on Earth. At least not our Earth. Then we cut to some idiots who have not one thing to do with the plot, but to serve as people that can die a bit later. They are apparently supposed to be comic relief based on this music. Just keep walking. How far? They certainly don't add that, but at least they add good acting. Speaking of money, we don't have any more. We're broke. <coughs> you don't believe me, do you? That something grabbed me. I believe that you believe something grabbed you. I believe that you're crazy. They're there. Meanwhile, Renee gets naked so the director slash writer slash actor David Heavner could at least get game fat material out of this. I'd say he's the poor man's Eli Roth, but that's not really fair to David. I mean, all he did was write a bunch of bland characters and like Roth's unlikable assholes every time. She gets grabbed in the bath, which for no reason causes her to see the deaths of the family. Hey Panda, since you're around, can you play some silly music over this scene? No, I think it's silly enough on its own. True. Yeah. I've got a shot for you. <laughs> It'll never get old. I've got a shot for you. <laughs> That's old. I've got a shot for you. <laughs> I love it. So the little girl runs upstairs to this attic to make sure she has absolutely no possible way out. Brilliant! Mama! So because they got shot with a shotgun, they come back as zombies. <gasps> but it was all just a dream. That's right, she dreams about taking baths. She's got a real imagination there. This is a picture she drew of them getting killed. There's blood on the picture. So her family gets killed and she runs off to draw a picture of it? I think she had mental problems just like Renee. And this is Um Chimi. He's the Lord of Death and he's eating them. And this is the Hero Twins and they're the good guys. Sure, that had anything to do with what you just saw. Don't you worry, we'll call the Hero Twins to fight the Lord of Death. Don't you worry a thing about it, dear. What the hell are you talking about? The cornfield? It's cosmic. I'm packing. You're leaving? No. We're leaving. Why? Is it because I'm acting crazy? There was a cornfield here. It's gone now. Are you seriously using that joke again, Phaedus? Come on. Oh, sorry, Mr. Q&A. What would you have said there? That's a very good question. Mmm, well... I don't know. Oh, I see. I'm the Q&A guy, so I have to, to give you every answer. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, it does. Anyway, Cadden Fodder Man goes off to die, and for no reason, this happens. <laughs> Buddy leaves the group, and immediately his woman takes her top off while cheesy music plays. Ha ha ha! I'm so clever, there's absolutely no point to this! You're missing the message of the scene. Girls have boobs. Oh, I see it now. So yeah, Buddy dies, girl runs out to see what happened and dies, the two others they were with run out and die. 
wow, the pointlessness of those characters was amazing! Oh yeah, and Jeffrey has turned into a completely different character and is for some reason drunk. I wouldn't mind you living in the past. If you give me a little affection now in the present. Jeffrey, what are you doing? Get off me! Stop it! I love. Stop it, Jeffrey! Jeffrey, what are you doing? Stop it! Ray porn! That hurts, Daddy! No, Daddy, stop! Please! What? You can't just drop random lines in here, movie! And no, that is never brought up again! So right after that, it flashes to part of her bath dream, then fades into her having sex with Michael. I guess rape with her fiancé really put her in the mood. There is no establishment for this, so it's a dream, is it? So it wasn't a dream. Oh, even she didn't know. I guess it really did fade into them having sex from their perspective as well. She better watch out, she might give birth to the devil now. I'm sorry about last night. There's no need for an apology. Uh, I think there is a need for that. In addition to some jail time. But never mind, he goes out to the car and dies, and Renee can't hear the loud death because of the vacuum cleaner. I got a shotgun. Jeez, I wonder if it's gonna turn out to be him or shut the family. Renita, Tom! Ah! Renee, you're so stupid, and believe it or not, this doesn't make her think she's evil. That little girl is suffering out there. These are Mayan Indians. The dead don't know they're dead. Now wait just a minute. Are you telling me that the dead don't know they're dead? They weren't given the proper burial ceremonies. Ah, that's a better reason than a shotgun turning them into zombies. They weren't buried right. So they put their belongings near wooden crosses, which causes them to disappear into the cornfield. What if you could travel to parallel worlds? The same year, the same Earth, only different dimensions. My friends and I found the gateway. Spiders. It's okay, baby. It's over now. We still need to find out who murdered that family. It was you? Things would have been fine if you hadn't have said that blowing my cover. Oh wait, no, doing this blew my cover. I had to. She was pregnant. She wouldn't have an abortion. Pregnant, wouldn't get an abortion, had to kill the whole fam- Is there seriously someone stupid enough in this world to think that this works as a plot point? But guess what? She hit her baby before disappearing into the cornfield. And it's still there, and we get the huge shock that it's a zombie baby! So after that priceless battle, they both die and the movie is over. Why isn't it ending? Why would he come back as a zombie? I thought this had to do with them being Mayans. Renee runs far enough away though, so the soundtrack cuts out. His buddy shoots him, but that doesn't work, so... <laughs> if it had just done that to him at the beginning, we could have had no movie! And when he dies, the soundtrack dies again with him! <laughs> Another scene just end! Look, Mommy Miss Millie laid a brown egg. Wow. Wow. I don't care. But someone comes to follow up on her adoption she shouldn't have been able to get with the little facts of her recent mental hospital time, substance abuse, and her death of her doctor fiancé. Don't know how she explained all that away. Do you sleep good? Yes. Do you eat well? Amanda, did you hear me? Do you eat well? Are you hungry? Of course, she can turn into a zombie. That random little girl who had nothing to do with any of this. You just gave up, didn't you, movie? I'm hungry as hell. Uh, and I just love Chinese. Yup, the little girl was pretty, of course. You can't 
through that movie, you point everything up to this point straight. Really, really poorly, but still you just can't try to make it a comedy at the very end. If you realized how shitty it was by the end of it, maybe a better idea would have been to... Just not make the damn movie! The color balance is all over the place between cuts, and I never thought I'd see a movie made in 2004 try to tint the day shot blue to pass it off as night. Yeah, 2004, it sure looks like it, right? Well, I guess if you compare it to Skin Deep, it does. But even Skin Deep didn't random cut the score as much as this piece of shit. And calling it Dawn of the Living Dead was pretty ballsy. It was still a better prequel than Day of the Dead 2. Oh, and even though this version of the movie is called Dawn of the Living Dead, they are too lazy to change their credits from the alternate title. So the credits finish and the movie ends. Why won't this movie die? I'll tell you why. Because it's already dead. <laughs> Oh, you have got to be kidding me. How are you here? Because I wasn't given a proper burial. So? You're still me. You can't be here. Look, either you died and you can't be sitting there doing this review, or I'm somehow a different person and am now your nemesis. I don't need a nemesis. I have Sub-Zero already anyway. What? What does he do? He sits in the kitchen there and comes out and hits me or says mean words if I make a Mortal Kombat joke. Yeah, when are you going to do that again? I'm getting bored. Shut up. Wow. Mean words. That is why you need a real nemesis. Hey, Phaedos has a nemesis. Me, the sad panda. You're not my nemesis panda. You do my theme song. Oh yeah, you're right. Bye. Yes, bye. The review is over and this is just stupid. Why won't it end? Because you must face me. Phaedos D1. What the hell does D1 even mean? Uh, well, it means... Okay, we're done here. End the damn video! No, just kidding. It's not over yet. Did that lightning hit him through the ceiling? Shut up, Sub-Zero!